Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. It's going to help out as Viper gets a bit of a heal. And so far, so good here for Hummer Life Esports. Bottom lane that are just trying to weather the storm as best as possible. And Peanut here towards the top side. Seeing what he can get done. The hop is good. And Doran will have the Mega Nar available. Gets the wallop down as well as Keen. He might be able to flash it, but he does not go for it. As there is first blood going over to Peanut. All oh, of a more laid back approach and more mistakes start slipping in. And this might be one of those as Peanut still has his ult, still has flash. Yep, Rocket's coming out. Zekka does not have a whole lot of mana, but he doesn't need it. To auto attack, still just going to flash on over. Gatling gun at the ready, and that is a second kill for Harm Alive. Yep, and as I was saying. Not one of those players that lets you get away with that uh, almost ever. And so right now, the jungle does kind of belong to him. You can see decent lead being built for Doran towards the top side of the map as well, as you can see, almost towards his Trinity Force. Keen still a decent ways away from that. First Drake will... And then also her team fighting prowess. But when you get to actual later stages in the game, which is where Genji has generally uh, done well, is Doran. Yeah, with it is already down on top of him. Fury of the Sand, so the Keen to tank up this turret, and he's going to grab some stacks for his trouble as well. And that is going to be Gen G finally on the board the with kill. And one more wave. Oh, do they need one more wave? Well, I think if they are going to stick around and try and oh. take it, no, they're not going to even need to worry about too many turret shots. As yeah, Doran and Delight, they will be able to get here. But it is not enough to actually save this out of turret. So that's first turret blood. Now, Extendo Beam going to be avoided here by Pays. Should be able to hold on to this mid wave. As you can see, the charge is still going to come through. And the turret will be taken out. So the Rift Herald is ideal, but mid lane turret is way more valuable uh, uh, than a bot lane turret is. And they're going to get the dragon as well. Keen is going to get this. I yeah. don't really think there's anything that we can do about that. That means that he's going to get a lot oh of gold God. into the pockets as a... That's a Hextech soul. That's um, valuable. He does have that Trinity Force now completed. Uh, Doran did uh, finish off his cull. Certainly good news, but he's going even with Anasis, and that often feels bad if you're not Anasis. As now Lahans could be in trouble, speaking of feeling bad, he is going to be taken out here. Permafrost a little bit too powerful, and Viper has delivered his first kill of the game. And I just don't know whether he wants to try and fight the Blade of the Ruin King, Chovy, right now, as Doran could be in trouble. Spear is going to go wide, but look at the Q damage. It is ridiculous, and Doran does hit the Mega Nar, but Canyon's still going to be able to pounce on top of him. Viper trying to fight this one out as the Fury of the Sands has already come through. But Keen is a monster, and he isn't going to be going down anytime soon. Canyon, once again, looking for these angles as the inner turret is going to get bonked aggressively by Keen and will fall down. Th that's a rape boss, Atlas. Yeah. Well, right there, Viper's like, oh, guys, no, 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 no. Abandon. It's one of the Anubises from Ankaraj. Those things, they're, they're really dangerous. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with the Jackal, as oh, it was shown no. there by Keen. That's an inner turret. And now for the first time, I think, Genji actually in the gold lead. And it's just one pick onto or Doran. In. Oh, yeah. Uh, for it, but. Probably just going to stick around as oh. Peanut going to get possibly caught out a little bit here. He is very tanky with the Frost Armor and the Aftershock as he looks for the Glacial Prison. Connects it here as they just blow up Lahens. Not going to have their Rel available for this fight. Canyon going to miss another Spear as well as Chovy's taking the enemy blue buff. Of course he is. And they might just be giving this one up. Oh, I was just... Uh just thinking about this. Look at the spikes on Anwa as well. Two item spike for Corky, two item spike for this area as well. Yep, Spears is still coming in though. Keen is still very scary. Teleport to come down now for the Nar as Peanut. He's really low. That is going to be the steal away by Canyon. They're going to try and focus Keen, but I don't know whether that's a good idea as that's another kill. And now Chovy, it's flashing forward, finds another reset. There's another one as a double comes in. 280 carries left remaining for Homolife Esports. They've got no one to stand behind and some Somehow, Genji just decided to win. And Lahens, uh, he might have slept for the alarm for this one. Uh, not really woken up just yet, but the rest of the team Dragon had... goes over. And then uh, Doran is alone in the pit. Pace okay. had a really good the zoning. Bullet goal. time, yeah. Yeah, and, and no, they don't have any cooldowns left to stop him. And then, yeah, Chovy smells blood in the water and shows us... Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it either. Uh, or as you already mentioned, uh, and, and not only, funnily enough, it's not only the 
uh, the healing that you do yourself, right? The lifesteal, but it's also Kenyon's heal. Yep. That's like a lot of value there. And yeah, now they're sieging with a, with a poke comp and uh, they can just spirit fire. They can use these Nidalee spears. And Delight cannot face check. Uh, he is going to get a ward in there, but that is immediately going to get blown up. And Genji is going to do their very best to try and suffocate them out here as Keen's going to flash the Glacial Prison. Peanut is still looking for more, but taking so much damage from Pays. Lahenz and Trovi trying to get themselves over as Harm Life, realizing oh. this is not their angle to fight right now. And Genji, based on this, just get free reign to head towards this mid lane, and they are just going to continue to try and zone them from the area. Canyon chasing the light out of there. And Genji, can they get even more? Is this just going to be an inhibitor turret going down already? The Rebel Brown power play already up to 2.3k is Kane. Fury of the Sands comes out, and the Battle Dance has to be employed. Genji, they will be able to take down that turret. This was all because they moved on in when they didn't really have the ability to do so. Doran's going to go down as well. The inhibitor's taken out. And without Doran, is this going to be even more sieging for Genji? Oh, yeah. already six. You know, if I get the excuse to vote for Onestis, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it. Oh, yeah. I had Nefari earlier today. We voted for Clear when he played Nasus, right? That time in Challenger, so yep. obviously we're going to do it here. Unfortunately, Morgan didn't win when he played it earlier in the season as Peanut's going to go down. That is going to be another kill over to Trovi as Viper takes so much damage. My god, Keen stands in the front. He does a ton of damage himself, but then he's got the artillery cannons Trovi. in the back line as Trovi's dancing forward. He'll find the reset on the jump is now Doran not going to hit Mega in time. The immediate explosion of both the Corky and the Nah. Two Yordles for the price of one when it comes to that ultimate. And this game is done and dusted. Gen.G, our favorites for the final. And they are looking absolutely like that in game one of our final match of the season. There goes the Nexus. Gen.G, go up. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.